hello everyone my name is Philip Edu. I'm just going to show you how to identify where you have rich in terms of the coding process um, on your document that you are coding so let's say you are coding um, um, an interview uh, transcript and you didn't finish coding you um, because maybe you don't have time or you're doing something else, you go and come back again to do the coding process and you just want to know where you left off. So how do you do that? How do you identify where you uh, left off and, and then continue the coding process? So <clears throat> let's say you were um, coding, I was coding this um, article, right? Um, you can also think of it as maybe interview transcript and so I just want to know where exactly I left with the coding process. So there are two options that you have. You can use in coding stripes and also code um, highlight. Um, normally, if you want to just know where the significant information that you coded, you just use highlight. If you want to know more about which kind of code did you use? You can use coding stripes that will help you to determine um, where you um, coded and then also the stripe that you use, right? Oh, no, not the stripe, the, um, the node that you use that you code that information or the label that you use to code um, that is significant information. So how do you do that? One option is to go to highlight and you click on um, code, um, highlight coding like um, this option is coding all for all node, right? So this one will highlight every aspect of the notes that of the document that you have coded, right? So you click on that and then it shows. So you can see here that all of the places that has been highlighted have been coded, right? So you can see that it looks like all the documents have been coded, but there is a catch here. Every place has been highlighted because I created case node for each of the um, documents that I imported, right? So you can see, uh, let's assume that this is a participant information, right? So a participant, so let's say you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten participant, and then you import maybe 10 transcripts. You create a case node, a container that, con that has all the information about the participant. So when you do that and you click on, um, highlight encoding for all nodes it will highlight everything here right so this one will not help you to know where you really coded so you have to um click back on man right and then you go to uh, coding for selected items and then you go to click on node uh, plus the plus there before the node and then you click on this one this will show you all the nodes that you have created for um the do all the document that you have right so you check you can check on this one um node and you select everything so this means that you are focus is only the node that has been created, um, that significant information that you uh, create, um, um, the node that you created based on the significant information. It wasn't based, not based on the um, cases that you have here, right? It's not based on the uh, participant information that you have in the case node. It is based on the node that, um, labels that you have created based on the significant information you have identified in the data so make sure you check um, you go back here 
um, you click on um, the folder under the node um, it depends on how you organize it but if you you don't have any folder under the node you just click on node and all the items will come and you check right you check that so this one will only select the node that you have created based on the significant information you have identified then you click on OK so if you click on OK you can look through the document and see where you code it so you can see that I coded this one right and um, so I coded this part um, when it go down a little bit I think I've coded this part so this means that I'm I, re, um, I also coded this place too so this one will help you to know that okay maybe the coding process I ended this part so I have to continue the coding process right so this one will help you to know where you have to continue right where you are rich in terms of the coding process and where you have to continue so that's how you're going to do it and we also have an option of coding stripes to know which what kind of code did you use for the significant information you have identified right so you click on that and you go to select items right and you go to the node and then you check um, let's say let me check all of them and see um, whether I'll be able to find any node here uh, related to this document so you can see here that for this one that has been highlighted I coded this as improve engagement right so and I think I also highlighted the document up one of the significant information maybe let me go down here so i think i found see i found one here more prepared for lessons in class so you can see here so you have used a highlighted one and also now you know the code that you use to represent that information here so this the short presentation to help you to identify which part of the document you have coded right and um, what do you want, how want to do? Maybe you want to um, change your mind concerning the place that you are coded. You'll be able to identify that. And uh, let's say I just want to change my mind here. You select that place and click here. And you go to on code, right? If you click on on code, then this place will not be coded anymore, right? And um, so you have options here for you. So this is just a brief information to know how to um, indicate highlight to select the place significant information in the document or the transcript that you have coded and where you have reached so that you can continue the coding process. As I said, the coding stripe, stripes can also be used to determine the kind of code that you gave or the kind of label that you gave to the significant information that you have identified. So this is just a short presentation. I hope this helps. Thank you.